I am Joe Ward of Boxer Shorts Media, and it's the real deal today. I have COVID-19. And yes, I had my Pfizer vaccinations. I still wear a mask like Dr. Strang passively suggests when in a public setting. Even if the folks who like Confederate flags and Alex Jones podcasts think I'm an idiot for doing it, but it is what it is. And Omicron is still running wild, uh, but I picked it up from an asymptomatic family member. We had no idea that we were at risk. Current healthcare policy in Nova Scotia suggests more than ever that it's only a matter of time for almost everyone to get this virus. Now the data is less frequently provided and the result is that it's harder to keep the infection or death data top of mind. And that alters the public's attitudes and behavior. For us as a family, our biggest concern now is definitely our son. He's too young to receive a vaccination that might help but lessen the severity of his symptoms. Nonetheless, he was also exposed at the same time I was and he was obviously exposed within our household now. So we're hoping that somehow he might be one of the lucky ones who are exposed but never expressed symptoms, but it's still probably wishful thinking. So right now we're avoiding our parents to keep them safe. There's no visits to Nana or Papa or Grandma for the next little bit. And we're hoping that other family members exposed are gonna be lucky enough to avoid infection. So far, I'm the third among us that have been infected, and, but there are still several others that are at risk. Now we know the virus is most dangerous for older citizens or those with significant health issues. But as every parent knows, unless you're one of those conspiracy theory folks, tolerance for risk is extremely low when it comes to children. But the bigger reality is that it's not just about us. It's called a virus because it's viral. It may not cause much harm to us, but we don't want it to go leapfrogging from us to get to others that it can harm more severely. It's not like an episode of Walking Dead where you get bit and then you don't let on to the other folks in the group that it happened. My rapid test broke the news to me, but I won't turn up in the provincial data because I don't need a PCR test to tell me what I already know. I've been exposed, I have symptoms, and the rapid test kit gave me the confirmation that I need. Okay, so that's all I have to say for now. Maybe by the next time my next video is published, I'll be on the mend and done with COVID-19. So remember to subscribe on either YouTube or Facebook, whichever works best for you. Who knows, maybe I'll rant and rave more about public health care policy again soon, but for now my priorities are for keeping us all as healthy as possible. Please hang up and try again.